Hi everyone, how are you dears? All are fine? Okay, today again our grammar. Okay, then we discussed, uh, do you know which is our last chapter? Which is our last chapter means which chapter we discussed lastly? Nouns, right. Okay, all of you open nouns, page number 20. All of you open page number 20 okay nouns okay just just we can just summarize everything all of you look at your textbook okay nouns countable we know that nouns is the name of it's the names of things people place and animals Learn. okay then then uh, we discussed about countable and uncountable nouns okay countable here uh, the names of people things that can be counted are countable nouns okay then we we learn something and test for countable nouns okay countable many right okay we can qualify it quantified by number and we can use many either a and or one can be used before countable le countable noun and they have singular and plural forms understood i think you remember everything right okay then now then we are talking about uncountable nouns Le, how we can identify uncountable nouns then here uncountable nouns are quantified by an amount rather than a quantified by an amount right then they have only one form singular form and a and one cannot be used before them and much can be used before them Le, yeah and and we can we can we only use much okay then we talk about uh, eight nouns uh, and everything and i think that's your homework right and the circle the correct form of the nouns we discussed and we talk collective nouns right collective nouns le, 10 i gave right le, then we want to 11 le, troop of artists all of you write speedly e le, e e e le, ah, just check whether you are uh, right uh, whether you are right or wrong okay troop of artists bunding of flags then constellation of stars gang of thieves stack of chairs then clump of trees if you are wrong just erase and write okay all of you speed up group of islands bench of grapes pause of policemen and nest of vipers okay if f fill in the blanks with the suitable phrases as she man we wake belongs to choir of singers Le, choir of singers they sing very well and have recently learned to dance too they are planning to join troop of dancers and the august uh, then orchardist is tired chasing away flock of birds and troop of Monkeys that attack the ripe fruit on the trees. He felt even worse when he found that swam of bees had built a hive in one of his favorite trees. While we were watching school of fish and school of dolphins play about the sea, we also saw fleet of fish at a distance. Later we learned that it was following band of pirate, pirate, pirate that had attacked the unarmed crew of sailors. Crew of C R E W like crew of sailors aboard and a ship. Then today we go, we are going to discuss about abstract nouns. What is that? abstract 
nouns le we already discussed in our 7th standard abstract nouns le we couldn't see in okka panamul padichu kaariyana le the abstract noun is a name of something that you cannot touch taste hear smell or see it refers to a thing which does not have a material form le namak endey mele we could in we can say that ah chalk is it uh, is it abstract or is it abstract no le it is abstract le then how you talk about ah oxygen air is abstract thing right abstract nouns are uncountable and they have no plural forms underline everything of the about that abstract nouns now an abstract noun is a name of something that you cannot touch taste hear smell or see it refers to a thing which does not have a material form abstract nouns are untouchable and they have no plural forms bravery examples beauty command appearance triumph happiness wisdom kindness and hunger okay abstract nouns can be formed in three ways which are the way for from common nouns man manhood child childhood right okay then from adjectives dark darkness poor poverty from verbs free freedom life life le okay then circle the abstract nouns in these sentences all of you want to circle the abstract noun from these sentences and all of you just try it now all of you just try it now speed up ah the national level match was due to be held on 14th october our team was filled with anxiety as we had only a week to practice our determination to win the match was visible to our coach and his encouragement and patience helped us to improve our skills each day there were times when our performance was poor but we lost neither hope nor confidence on the final day of the match our supporters cheered us loudly we played with immense enthusiasm and unity it was a close shave but victory was finally ours happiness was writ large on our faces and disappointment on that our opponents Amy Okay which are the things anxiety okay circle anxiety is the abstract noun then determination encouragement patience poor confidence cheered enthusiasm unity happiness disappointment okay then now we are going to discuss our next topic phrases what is that what is that phrases phrases what is that we are going to discuss about phrases sometimes a group of words makes sense but not complete sense le then such groups of words are called phrases okay then we have phrases and also we have noun phrases phrases nu anna endha onnu illa simple aanu endana complete meaning undavilla okay then here is a group of words but not complete sense such groups of words are called phrases the future of ipl on the ipad listen all of you we can change phrases into sentences by adding other words to them but one of the words that we add must be a verb a sentence has a verb it is a phrase doesn't 
മനസ്സിലായോ ഒറ്റ ഒറ്റ പ്രത്യേകത മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ എന്താണ് ഫ്രേസിൽ എന്തുണ്ടാവില്ല വെർബ് ഉണ്ടാവില്ല ഓക്കെ വെർബ് എവിടെ ഉണ്ടാവില്ല ഫ്രേസിൽ ഉണ്ടാവില്ല okay then we are all of you listen here we have two examples i saw three people sitting in the room and discussing the future of the ipl at the future of the ipl is the phrase is there any any verb no would you please check the weather forecast for tomorrow on the ipad okay then noun phrase okay noun phrase la endundavilla then here here a sentence as a verb is it a phrase does not understand phrase le does not phrase le endundavilla verb undavilla or simple thing mathre ullu ta phrase does not okay then here talk about noun phrase sachin tendulkar will be given the trophy listen sachin tendulkar will be given the membership of the order of australia okay listen 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 wait listen the new minister hinted at an increase in the fires in the group of words an increase in the fires is the object of the verb hinted understood object of the verb hinted okay in the group of words an increase in the fires is the object of the hint le wait this phrase does not work in noun thus the phrase an increase in the fires is a noun phrase listen all of you what is that another thing also here the phrase an increase in the fires is a noun phrase what is that listen the phrase an increase in the fires is a noun phrase how we can say that that is that is a noun phrase because already the here mention here what is because an increase in the fires is the object of the verb hinted understood listen satvik is playing chess in the living room listen satvik is playing chess in the living room here satvik is the noun subject of the sentence answers the question of who le aarana plus chess kalichathu satvik right satvik and rithik are playing chess in the living room phrase how subject of the sentence answers the question of the subject of the sentence answers the question of who leave everything noun phrase ne kurichi don't worry about noun phrase here we have the explanation the subject of a sentence can also be a noun phrase listen a noun phrase is a group of words that does the work of a noun it answers the question of what or who understood noun phrase how we can understood noun phrase surely we know that noun phrase there is no verb i told you that and the noun phrase is the noun phrase engane kandupidika listen all of you how we can find out noun phrase surely if you get answer of what and who that is noun phrase understood understood here all of you listen the phrase an increase the fires is a noun phrase appo nammal a sentence node question choichu what then answer is an increase in the fires that's why we can call that phrase that an increase in the fires we can call that is a phrase understood okay now underline that noun phrase phrase is a group of words that does the work of a noun it answers the question of what or who listen then through our examples we can easily get 
all of you listen underline the noun phrase in these sentences some may have more than one noun phrase all of you listen please put away your lunch boxes it is time for the next class please put away your lunch boxes question joik endha put away endha put away cheyandad endana yes what we want to your lunch box and it is the time for next class the next the next chapter in this book tells you about determiners so we want to ask that question what is that question who or what ah it's a chapter is in the book tells you what yes about determiners that is noun phrase okay your childhood drawing show that you have real talent endana show cheynade എന്താണ് ഷോ ചെയ്യുന്നത് യേസ് വാട്ട് ഷോ അല്ലേ വാട്ട് എന്ന് ചോദിക്കുമ്പോൾ ചൈൽഡ്ഹുഡ് ഡ്രോയിങ് അല്ലേ വൺ നൗൺ ഫ്രേസ് ആൻഡ് എന്തിനെയാണ് അത് കാണിക്കുന്നത് എന്താണ് അത് കാണിക്കുന്നത് റിയൽ ടാലൻറ്റ് ദെൻ ത്രീ സ്പാരോസ് ആർ സിറ്റിംഗ് ഓൺ ദി ഫെൻസ് വാട്ട് സിറ്റിംഗ് ഓൺ ദി ഫെൻസ് ഷുവർലി ഐ ടോൾ യു ദാറ്റ് അഗെയിൻ വി വോണ്ട് ടു ജസ്റ്റ് ബാക്ക് യുവർ പേജ് Subject of the sentence can also of a noun phrase. I told you, let's subject it. Jalpa and I tomorrow, noun phrase I tomorrow. Noun phrase is a group of words that does the work of a noun. Understand? Le, adil endan da vilya? Noun phrase le. Akhtar dikna amla noun phrase that we can call noun phrase. Okay, understood. Then surely you will get a sentence and we want to find out the noun phrase from there. I told you that what or who and the question choice and what we get to noun phrase. Phrase is not. There is no meaning. I told you that there is no meaning for that phrase and no verb also. That is a phrase. Then noun phrase sound. Surely if we ask one question to that sentence what or who, if you get that answer that is noun phrase. Understood? okay then noun clause also we want to discuss on all, all of you this uh, speed up three sparrows are sitting on the fence the three sparrows is the noun phrase subject also noun phrase we can we, uh, we study like that right okay then super storm sandy left many people homeless who that super storm sandy is the noun phrase underline firstly super storm sandy and The cat in the hat sat on the mat. The cat in the hat is the Give me noun phrase. Then I she read the 10th question carefully. I she read. Who who read here? I she reads. Le I she reads noun phrase ana. 10th question um endana? That also noun phrase. Then Jane gave Elizabeth a warning look. what is that jane is noun phrase and warning look also noun phrase i can give you two good reasons why i want to i want this tab replaced two good reason is our yes noun phrase le okay then 10th one that's your homework okay 10th is your homework okay that only one homework you want to read all the whole chapter again and again then surely you will get what a clear cut idea about your noun phrase and phrase and everything okay inshallah we can complete the rest of the uh, chapter in our next class okay okay all of you thank you